Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at angles in similar triangles. We're going to answer the question, what are similar triangles and how do we determine if triangles are similar or not? So similar triangles have congruent angles, but are not the same size. So like right here, we have the same angle measures, but they're not the same sized triangle. So in a triangle, if two of the corresponding angles are congruent, like B and B prime and A and A prime, then that means the triangles are similar and that automatically makes the third angle the same in both triangles. So we are gonna go through these sets of triangles and determine if they're similar or not by using this. If they have two of the same angles, that automatically makes the third one the same. So let's look at these triangles right here. They both have an angle measure of 67. So we have one set of corresponding angles that are the same. Now I need to find the third angle in this triangle right here. And if the third angle is 48, then that means this one's automatically 65, so they are similar. And remember we find the missing interior angle by seeing 67 plus 65 plus that missing angle, setting it equal to 180. So let's find X. I'm just gonna use my calculator for this. 65 plus 67 is 132. So 132 plus that missing angle is equal to 180. I'm gonna subtract 132. And that will tell me what that missing angle is. 180 minus 132 is 48 degrees. So 67 and 67 were the same. 48 and 48 are the same. And that means this one also has to be 65 degrees. So these triangles are similar because we had two angles that we proved that are the same, which means that the third one is also the same. Okay, let's look at number two. These are right triangles, so they both have a 90 degree angle. Now let's see if we can find another set of angles that are the same. So I'm going to find this missing angle right here. I'm gonna do 90 plus 54 plus X equals 180. And 90 plus 54 is 144. So I just subtract 144 from 80 to figure out that missing angle measure. So 180 minus 144 is 36. So this angle right here is 36. So I do have two sets of angles that are the same and that automatically makes the third angle the same as well. They're both 54. So these triangles are similar. Okay, let's look at number three. So I do have one set of angle measures that are the same. Now I'm going to find this missing angle here and see if it's equal to 60. If not, then it won't be similar. So 80 plus 30 plus X equals 180. That will help me find the missing angle measure by using this equation. So now I'm gonna combine 80 plus 30, that's 110. And 110 plus X is 180. I'm gonna subtract 110. And I get that X is 70. So this angle right here is 70. Um, on this triangle, I have 80, 60. And why don't we find out what that third one would be? See if any of them are the same. 80 plus 60 plus X equals 180. So that'd be 140 plus X equals 180. I'd subtract 140 and I get X equals 40. So these angles are 80, 60, and 40. And the angles in this triangle are 80, 70, and 30. So we don't have corresponding um, congruent angles. So these triangles are not similar.
And I knew that once this angle was not 60 because then there was no way that this one could have been 30, but I just wanted to prove that to you guys by solving for that angle and finding it was 40. Okay, let's look at this one. So I do have two angles that are the same, 75. Now let's find this angle here and see if it is 50. If it is, that means that they are similar triangles. So 75 plus 55 plus X equals 180. And 75 plus 55 is 130. So 130 plus X equals 180. Gonna subtract 130. So X equals 50, because 130, or 180 minus 130 is 50. So I do have two sets of corresponding angles that automatically makes the third one the same as well. So these triangles are similar. Okay, number five. This one I can automatically tell that it is not going to be similar triangles because similar triangles have to have two angles that are the same. So these might be the same, but even if they are, my other two sets of angles are different. So this one is not similar. because there will not be two sets of congruent angles. Okay, number six. So 61, I have that in both of my triangles. They didn't give me another set of angles in either of the triangles, but whenever we talked about parallel lines cut by a transversal, we learned about vertical angles. So these angles right here are vertical angles. They are opposite angles formed by intersecting lines. So we know that those angles are congruent. And we have two sets of congruent angles. So that automatically makes the third angle the same as well. So these are similar triangles because there are two sets of congruent angles. Even though we don't know what these exact angle measures are, we know that they are congruent because they are vertical angles. Okay, let's look at number seven. I have this bigger triangle. And I have this smaller triangle. And they share this angle right here, this 90 degree angle. So they both have one angle that's the same already. That right angle, it's 90 degrees. Now I need to find one of those angles and see if it's the same in the other triangle. So I'm gonna do the smaller triangle. I'm gonna find that angle and see if it also is also 30 and is congruent to that second angle. So 90 plus 60 plus X equals 180. 90 plus 60 is 150. So my new equation is 150 plus X equals 180. And now I'm going to subtract 150 and X equals 30. So this angle is 30. I have another set of congruent angles. I had the 90 degree angle and these are both 30. So since two of them are the same, these are similar triangles. All right, let's look at number eight. So I have this large outside triangle and I have this smaller inside triangle up here 
And I already see one angle that's the same on both of them. They both share this angle of 85 degrees. So that angle is the same. I just need to find one other angle pair that's the same. So I'm going to find this missing angle right here and see if it is also 42. So let's add the three angles of that pink triangle together, 85 plus 53 plus X. I'm gonna set it equal to 180. And 85 plus 53 is 138. So my new equation is 138 plus X equals 180. I'm going to subtract 138. And that will tell me what that missing angle is. So 180 minus 138 is 42. So I have two sets of angles that are the same. They share this one of 85 and then this one's 42. That automatically makes these over here 53. So these triangles all have the same angles, so they are similar.